good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending on where you are getting me from. Welcome to our morning devotion. In case you are new here, just be most welcome. This is the right place to be. I'm happy to be back. And I just want to thank everyone for the birthday wishes, gifts, and good messages. God bless you. Now we are back. Uh, today, <clears throat> our sharing is about uh, salvation is about to come. Keep justice and do righteousness. That is our sharing. And our key verse is from the book of Isaiah, chapter 56, verse 1 to 5. And we are going to sing hymn song number 337. Uh, before that, let's pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, thank you for the gift of life. Thank you for the sharing we are going to have this morning. We pray that you help us, uh, allow us to understand and put it into practice, Father. Whatever we didn't pray, we pray that you send the Holy Spirit so that you can understand for us. In Jesus' name we pray and believe. Amen. Uh, I have shared a new link to our new packup page. Christopher member, amen, welcome. You can follow our new packup page because he page yet what we may answer to share the nails, come as I up on onto it, but it's number two mungu to jali kwe. But you can follow uh, the link I've shared to our new packup page. And let's sing number three hundred and that seven redeemed. <clears throat> redeemed thou I love to proclaim it. Redeemed by the blood of the Lamb, redeemed through His infinite mercy, His child and forever I am. Redeemed, redeemed, redeemed by the blood of the Lamb, redeemed, redeemed. Child and forever I am. Redeem and so happy in Jesus. No language my rapture can tell. I know that the light of his presence with me does continually dwell. Redeem, redeem, redeem by the of the Lamb, redeem him, redeem him, he shall that forever I am. I know that, <clears throat> I know there is a crown that is waiting in yonder bright mansion for me, and soon with the saints made perfect. At home with the Lord I shall be redeemed, <coughs> redeemed, redeemed by the blood of the Lamb, redeemed, redeemed, he shall die forever I am. Come on. Good morning, dear. Amen. Mungu ni mwema kila wakati. Amen. Kemboi sila saying morning, morning. Uh, <clears throat> salvation is about to come. Keep justice and do righteousness. This was a message to the to the Gentiles, and I'm going to read from uh, Isaiah chapter 56, verse one up to five. Caroline Moranga, Hallelujah. Amen. So. Uh, I'm going to read Isaiah chapter 56, verse 1 up to 5, uh, from my New King James Version, the Bible records. Thus the Lord, thus says the Lord, keep justice and do righteousness, for my salvation is about to come, and my righteousness, righteousness to be revealed. Pleasant is the man who does this, and the son of man who lays hold on it. Who keeps me from defiling the Sabbath and keeps his hand from doing any evil? Do not let the son of the foreigner who has joined himself to the Lord speak, saying, 
the Lord has utterly separated me from his people. Nor let the eunuch say, Here I am, a dry tree. For thus says the Lord to the eunuchs who keep my Sabbath and choose what pleases me and hold fast my covenant, even to them I will give him my, in my house and within my walls a place and a name better than that of sons and daughters. This was, <clears throat> we, we know very well that uh, the Jews are the one who, who, who were like they were known to know more about God. But now God said to the Gentiles also that So, uh, salvation to the Gentile realm. Uh, kama kuna sauti mutaniambia. So, God sent this message to the Gentiles. Like, I'm, I'm well, salvation is going to come to everyone. Who accepts me, who keeps my Sabbath, who, do, who does what pleases me. And then he went further and said, Be careful, a foreigner will come. And they start telling you like, God has separated me from him. Don't listen to this person because salvation is about to come. Maybe you have been so righteous, you've been keeping justice, and then somebody can come and tell you, you know what? There's nothing you can do by keeping justice and doing righteousness because there is no God. Nobody's going to bless you for that. We have people who will discourage you from serving the Lord. These are the people that God is calling uh, foreigners. Even if you are not a Jew, even if you are a Gentile and you have accepted God and you have accepted Jesus as your personal Savior, you are doing what pleases God, you are going to get that salvation. So God was very clear. This is God's information to the Gentiles. Like, don't feel like you have been uh, separated from those people who know God. Don't feel like now the Jews are the only people who understand about God, even the Gentiles. So... Don't be discouraged and get uh, like you are now separated. Like now you are an unbeliever. You are the, <clears throat> you don't belong to God. You can't be an unbeliever and you decide like I want to do justice. I want to do righteousness. You are going to be counted in God's house. That is what he's saying. That is the message he was sending to the Gentiles. Not to be discouraged. Now that they have accepted God, they should not listen to anyone coming to them like you know what? For you, you are not God's child. Who are you? Why are you serving him? Why are you keeping justice? What is it? What are you going to gain? So it was just encouraging the Gentiles that they should not be discouraged because salvation was about to come and then they had to keep justice and do righteousness. The same way as Christians, sometimes you can be doing something and you get discouraged. Foreign, foreigners can be what you are doing. There's some things that can discourage you from serving God and you feel like, I have served God for so long, I don't see any, benef any benefit. This morning, I want to encourage you that salvation is about to come. You should not give up on what you are doing. Keep justice and continue doing righteousness because God is going to count you in his house. You are going to join God's people in his house because you do what pleases him. So that is the message you have this morning. We do this morning devotion shortly, uh, every day from Monday to Friday, between 5 and 6 a.m. East African time. And we have found it good to start our day with God's blessings. So if you have been doing good and you feel like somebody is discouraging you from serving God, somebody is discouraging you from doing justice, keeping uh, justice, doing righteousness, just uh, is, this is a reminder, it's a simple reminder that salvation is about to come keep 
justice and continue doing righteousness because God is going to save you. So don't look at somebody. Somebody can be a Christian and then they come to interfere with your faith as, as somebody who, who is an unbeliever and you want to accept Jesus. Is, is, this person is very different from a foreigner. They can't be Christians, but they can come to you if they see that you have started knowing God. They want to discourage you from God, telling you, you know what, even me, I was a Christian, but God just left me like that. That is a foreigner. Don't accept, don't listen to this for, foreigner because salvation is about to come. If you have decided I want to serve God, just serve him and you will see that uh, you also be counted as one of God's people in his house. So, Jeria Kerobo, good morning and happy preparation day from Manama Bahrain Kingdom all the way home, Kisi County. Thank you so much, dear. Uh, I just want to thank you for tuning in. Let's continue uh, keeping justice and doing righteousness so that we'll be counted as God's people in his kingdom so thank you so much let's pray as we finish our morning devotion uh but before we finish i want to tell you i've shared a link to our new packer page you can just follow the link because we might lose this page to cause the mali paku kimbilia so let's pray as we finish our morning devotion father in the name of jesus thank you for the gift of life thank you for the sharing we have had this morning we pray that you help us so that we can keep justice and keep doing righteousness so that we can be counted as one of your children in your kingdom, Father. We pray for the sick in various homes and hospitals. We pray that you heal them so that they can continue praising your name, Lord. We pray for the Lakman family. We pray that you keep on intervening in our situations. Keep up, keep blessing us because the task ahead of us is not easy. But we know with you everything is possible, Father. We pray for our children wherever they are. We pray that you cover them with the blood of Jesus. Guide them, let them understand that they are the only God who needs to be worshipped Father. We pray for our brothers and sisters working in diaspora, Gulf countries. We pray that you protect them, cover them with the blood of Jesus till they meet with their families once more, Father. We remember our parents, brothers and sisters, wherever they are. We pray that you protect them also till we meet again, Father. The activities of the day, we dedicate them unto able hands, Father. The bereaved families, we pray that you comfort them as they are in their time of sorrow, Father. In a special way, we remember widows, orphans, and widowers wherever they are. We pray that you provide for them their daily needs as you promised to be their father. We remember also prisoners. We pray that you give them their freedom once more. Allow them to be reformed and know that there is light at the end of the tunnel, Father. Whatever we didn't pray, we pray that you send the Holy Spirit so that he can sit for us. In Jesus' name we pray and believe. Amen. So thank you so much for tuning in. Uh, see you in our next show. Uh, Zipora Mangani, thanks, mom. I'm blessed. You're welcome. Uh, Violet Mochama, good morning, mama. Matri Nyamus, good morning. Amen. Oh, see you in the next show of our morning devotion. Thank you.